Hi, I'm Jason from Woody's Auto Sales here to show you this 2018 Dodge Journey. It is the GT version, fully loaded, has all the options. It's got the driving lights, it's got the alloy wheels, it's got the sunroof, uh, leather interior, heated seats, it's got the DVD entertainment system, it's got all the auxiliary inputs for your stereo, it's got the USB and your auxiliary uh, port, of course. It's got Bluetooth, it's got the home link for your garage door openers, it's got, um, gosh, what else? Satellite radio that's still active. It still has a subscription that's active on that, which is nice. It's got a full set of floor mats. It's got tinted privacy glass. It's got the uh, push button start and factory alarm system with the keyless entry. It's got a lot of good stuff in this. So let's do a little walk around and show it to you. The tires are still like new. They're Kumo Solus. It runs great, gets good gas mileage. Let's go ahead and, well, let's do a walk around before I open it up, kind of show you the paint body. It's all wheel drive. It's in excellent shape, no dings, dents, scratches, pits, or anything like that. Windshield's like new still, no pits in it or anything like that. And it's only got 10,000 miles. So I picked it up when it had 6,000 miles. I've put 4,000 on it. We actually drove it through the winter while I was trying to find my wife another minivan to replace our old van. So we actually drove this for the last four months. Took it to Nevada, took it to Idaho. So we've road tested this car, put 4,000 miles on it. It's excellent. Gets good gas mileage, drives perfect. It's got the black leather interior, it's got the red baseball stitching, which is really cool, so it's got the accent stitch on the door panels and the seats. It's got the steering wheel audio controls, of course, for your Bluetooth, the radio, everything else. It's got all your controls here on the touchscreen uh, monitor here. It does have the dual climate control. Here's where your DVD goes in. Uh, memory card can go in there play stuff off of. Cup holders here of course. It does have the auto dimming mirror. Sunglass holders here and uh, sunroof there. There's your home link right there on the visor. It's got an Alpine sound system. It sounds really good. It does have the third row which is really nice about the journey. I mean not a ton of cargo room back there in that third row is being used but so this seat just kind of slides forward like that to gain access to that third row. So it does seat uh, seven. Let's go ahead and slide this back. Does have some inputs there for a gaming system or anything like that, and a plug as well, which is nice. So you can plug that gaming system in, or I mean, it's got it'll run household current right there, and it also runs cigarette lighter off the battery there too. So. But if, yeah, you got kids that want to play on this DVD system um, with their gaming system or something like that, it'll work. It does, oh, it does have some pretty cool features down here too. Little storage down there, some stone go. Both rear floors have that. And then it does have a built-in child booster seat too. So that's kind of a nice feature too if you've got little ones. So you don't have to have the booster seats. Whoops, let me snap, snap that down. You don't have to have the booster seats. If they're big enough for boosters, you can just pop that up and buckle them in. Nice feature that Dodge put in these. Smells real good in here, still smells new. It's not been smoked in. Carpets are in fantastic shape, of course. The leather's in great shape. Everything works. Let's uh, start it up for you. Let you hear it run. Ten thousand three seventy seven on the miles. Let's see, oh, here we go on the, so still, I've got the uh, satellite plane now. All the controls here for your uh, heated seat, heated wheel, there's your, you gotta turn that outlet on to be able to use the power back there, which is nice. Um, the heated wheel is really nice too. You can either turn it on or at 
40 degrees so when this up here that the outside ambient temperature sensor senses that it's 40 degrees or less it automatically turns your heated seats on and your steering wheel on which is really cool go through here for your player here's your radio here uh, climate control here we got that off nav so uh, phone right there then you got a whole bunch more stuff you know serious rear entertainment settings anyway uh, all kind of stuff Looks like we have the Book of Mormon on here. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's it's a fantastic uh, little entertainment center in this thing. We've really enjoyed having the satellite and having the uh, DVD player and the option of playing games, uh, game consoles and stuff on trips. The kids really like that. Um, trying to think of what else I can tell you about the inside. It's just really nice in here and plush. Uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. We'll talk about some of the damage why it was a salvage title and what kind of work we had to do. I'm just gonna show you the engine real quick. It's a little bit dirty. I pressure washed it and cleaned it when we first started driving it a few months ago, but it's gotten a little dusty in here. But everything is actually, let me drop this camera down for just a second while I leave the, or pop the hood up. Okay, sorry about that. So we'll uh, go over just a second what I what we did so when we bought the vehicle as you can see it runs real quiet it's real smooth when we bought this vehicle it was hit in the front so I had to put a new bumper on it complete and new grill new headlights and hood um, the fenders were okay but I did have to have a rebar which is your crash bar in there it did not bend the frame this had no frame damage but it did bend the what we call the radiator support which is this right here and it goes all the way across as you can see it bolts in it's which is nice it's a bolt-in radiator support so we put this in new a new radiator a new air conditioning condenser too uh, this washer fluid bottle is uh, the original one it's got a little teeny nick right there but it's not cracked or anything like that just a little dent in it right there where the other hood hit it but it's not damaged in any you know in any uh, way other than cosmetic so um, other than that it, nothing mechanically was damaged I actually got to hear it run at the auction just for a second. I didn't run along the course because it didn't have coolant, but I did get to hear it, put it in gear, make sure everything worked that way, and it worked great. So we put all these new front pieces on it, and we it didn't have any suspension damage or anything like that, so we didn't have to uh, get into anything mechanical on it. The reason, I, and that the damage on the front wouldn't have been enough to total this vehicle. It just wasn't enough, but. When they got in that front end damage, it did deploy the airbags. So we had to replace the steering wheel airbag and the passenger airbag, which is that dash. So when that went off, we had to buy a whole new dash for this. So it deployed the passenger, this one, uh, the knee bag, which is this guy under here, we had to replace that, and the curtain bags on the sides right here. So pretty much all the airbags except for the seats went off. The seats, of course, never deployed. So it's got new seat belts here because they, they lock up. So those are new. Uh, dash, airbags, I mean, it, all the bags went off. And it, and it wasn't a very, it didn't look to me like a high speed impact because it didn't get, it didn't bend the frame or get into it, you know, any further than the radiator support. But because all those bags went off, then they totaled the car. And the headliners in these are pretty expensive. It's got a little, little teeny kink right there. You can see it. Just to, let me get in the right light. Just a little teeny kink in the fabric right there from when they deployed. To us, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just a little cosmetic you know flaw but to the person who owned this car brand new 6,000 miles they want a new headliner those headliners are like $1,200 that I mean all that stuff just adds up and becomes very expensive in the end so anyway we we got them all and um, all new airbags from the dealer um, on those roofs and stuff and new dash all that stuff we put it all in and it's all working perfect so when you get in here, the airbag light comes on like it should and then turns off when it checks the system to make sure everything's working correctly. And we'll stand behind that work. Um, everything is working as it should. So you're safe to drive it and it's back to the way it was originally. And we stand behind our work, our, our work in the front too, the paint work and everything. So it's not gonna peel or crack or do anything weird like that. We did, um, you know, I can't, no, as I say, I couldn't remember if we had to put a windshield in this or not, but we did not. It still has the Mopar, still has the Dodge insignia on the glass. So that's still the original windshield. We, it did not crack in the wreck or anything like that. So sometimes they do, but this one did not. So that's still the original windshield. 
So it's, I mean, it's a very solid little journey. Like I said, we've had it for a few months, put 4,000 miles on it. So it's been tested plenty by us and everything works like it should. The cooling system works. It's goes down the road, super smooth, super straight. It's a great family vehicle. If this is something that you've been looking for or something that fits your family and in your budget, I invite you to come on down and take a look at it. You won't be disappointed. It's a great solid little journey. And as always, I appreciate you looking and I'm happy to show you anything that we can on this on before pictures or anything like that and kind of show you what we did. Again, if you have any questions, just give us a call and uh, come on down and take a look. Thanks for looking and have a nice day.